Hello guys, it's me, Dominic, back here once again for another video. Today is the review of the Bahrain Grand Prix. As I said, every week, every race weekend, there will be a review and a preview. Obviously, this weekend I didn't do a preview because I was quite busy, guys, so sorry about that. But every weekend, that's what will happen. Um, so, for qualifying for the Bahrain Grand Prix, Hamilton qualified and pole, no surprise there. We're especially best in P2 for Ferrari. Uh, four Timmons is also behind, with third was Nico Rosberg, fourth was Raikkonen in Ferrari, fifth was Bottas for Williams, with, with his teammate sixth. Um, and then seventh was Ricardo. Quite good qualifying for Red Bull, considering they had quite bad reliability. Hulkenberg was eighth. Good again, another good qualifying for Force India. I think they're doing quite good. And then Saints was ninth. Toroso and Grosjean was tenth for Lotus. Perez was eleventh for Force India. Twelfth was Nasser. Thirteenth was Ericsson. Alonso for McLaren was fourteenth. Showing an improving picture, I think, in terms of the qualifying base. He got through to Q2 for the first time this season, and it showed, uh, you know, a good promise for McLaren. And they said that this weekend would be their last weekend in terms of not scoring points. And then Verstappen was fifteenth. Ahead of Maldonado uh, and Clavier, Stevens, Mary, and Button, he didn't qualify. He had a bad weekend for Jason Button. Uh, just didn't get in the laps, you know, and he did 17 laps altogether before the race, and it gets even worse as the video goes on. Um, so, the race, um, quite a good race actually. I think it was a bit more enjoyable than China. China was quite boring. Hamilton just controlled the race in China, and he did the same thing here. Uh, quite interesting in terms of the over the undercut. Um, drivers were able to do an undercut on drivers, and you know sometimes the gap was able to be able to get ahead of people or reduce the gap. And that happened to Hamilton in the first stint, where he peered in before um, Nico Rosberg and Sebastian Vettel. Uh, he peered afterwards actually, uh, and they matched. He had a five-second gap roughly, and then it was all reduced by the time he got out of the pit. So. Um, yeah, quite interesting Grand Prix in terms of the tyres. It did punch the drivers quite a lot, and it was quite a successful game. But Hamilton was really, again, controlling the race all the way through. Had the, he had the pace when he needed to extract it. It just like another good race for um, for uh, for Lewis. Um, second was Kimi Raikkonen. Um, a good result for Kimi. First time on the podium for Ferrari since I think it was sometime in 2009. I can't remember who it was. But, you know, um, last last time he got on the podium with Ferrari and um, I'll see his last podium was uh, back in 2013 with Lotus. But, again, a good result for Kimi Raikkonen. It's a good stint, good, good strategy from, from the guys there and it really did pay off. Nico Rosberg in Mercedes was third. He had a brake problem, very similar to Lewis Hamilton, but he had an earlier one. It was something wrong, wrong with the brakes. It just kept overheating around Bahrain and it caused a brake by wire problem for both drivers. Lewis had, Lewis had it in the last lap of the Grand Prix. Nico had it. Um, sort of the last couple of laps where Kimi was able to overtake him. Quite unlucky. And I felt for Nico, you know, I think Nico showed some great promise this weekend. Uh, more aggressive, I think he's coming into, into, into the weekend more aggressive, more more of a um, aggressive style. And I think um, if he can continue doing that this season, then that's going to be very good. Um, so Valtteri Bottas was fourth ahead of Sebastian Vettel, who had a bit of a troubled weekend race. Um, to be fair, he um, was under pressure a lot trying to get past Nico. Nico was quite good in the beginning of the race, and then he had to try and get past him. And he damaged his front wing um, on the last corner of the uh, of the whatever lap it was. I can't remember who it was, but he damaged his front wing, causing him to uh, have to come in again. And he was battling with Valtteri Bottas, and then the dirty air was affecting him to get past. So a bit of a lucky for him. But Bottas did a fantastic job for four for Williams. Six for Ricardo. He got to the line and blew up. The engine blew up at the end of, of uh, the last lap and he just got across the line quite luckily but again bad stuff for Renault you know they're struggling so much with the engine package it's unbelievable um, so yeah I think he's doing his fourth engine for Spain so it's going to be quite a good race hopefully for them and hopefully they can fix those issues seventh with Grosjean for Lotus another good scoring effort from Lotus with Grosjean eighth with Perez ahead of, uh, ahead of Clavier we came from 17th from the grid and again a poor qualifying uh, for Red Bull. Uh, Massel was 10th after having a bad start, he couldn't get the car started on, on, on the start and then he had to get wheeled back into the pit lane, he had a collision with Maldonado, uh, Maldonado touched his rear end, um, causing Maldonado to have a brake problem, causing Ma Massa to have something wrong with his rear end of the car, so he got 10th in the end. Alonso showing some good promise for McLaren, um, 11th, getting near the points, and then ahead of um, Felipe Nazza, Hulkenberg in 13th, Ericsson was 14th, Maldonado was 15th, brake problems, and it's both um, the Mauritius of Stevens and Mary finished in 16th and 17th with the retirees of Verstappen and Saints again a double time of Torosa with engine problems so bad for them I feel so so bad for the Renault engine power it's just not got any 
they got some so many problems and but button going on to button again he didn't even start the race you know he had some problems with the car electrical issues and he just oh it just the weekend really went bad for button and i think mclaren need to get these sort of this these uh, problems sorted i think they did say they got some new parts for the rear of the car particularly for the next race in spain which is uh Gonna be good. Hopefully, they can give him some get, get get some more performance out of the car, and I really do hope they can score points. I mean, McLaren should be winning races. You know, their partnership with McLaren Honda has always been, you know, trying to win races, and McLaren has always been a world championship winning team, and they haven't had that for years. Uh, it's now time. We shouldn't be hoping for them to get points. We should be hoping for them to get wins, and they're not doing that at the moment. So hopefully, they can get back on track, getting the points, and I really do hope for them. I really do. So um. Hope you enjoyed that, guys. I mean, I hope it's a good summary of the race. Uh, other than that, it was really quite an interesting race. More better than China, but Lewis just seems to be in a league of his own. I think Nico can't touch him. I think Nico's second took Sebastian Vettel because Sebastian finished fifth in the race. Uh, other players second, so Nico's 27 points behind Lewis in championship, which means you know a lot of stuff needs to be done from Nico Rosberg. And I think it's been quite unlucky for Mercedes with brake problems. And then it just shows that Mercedes' car is not bulletproof. So thank you guys for watching this video. I'll be back in three weeks' time for the Spanish Grand Prix preview, but the video is coming out before then, of course. So I hope you enjoyed that video, and I'll see you in another one. Bye, guys, and I'll see you soon.